Hi guys. So today we're going to be working on a 12 by 24 inch canvas and I have this wonderful cup that I just showed you guys and um, I'm going to layer this cup. I almost feel like this is going to be way too many ounces, but we'll see. Um, I don't think I'm going to fill it all the way up, but we're going to work on it. So I'm back from Texas. I had an amazing time with the talented Mina Villegas, Kathleen Osmore, and the wonderful, sweet, uh, completely entertaining Mossy Boys, uh, Lee and Jeremy. And I am ever so grateful uh, for my, my stay there. My stay was extended due to Hurricane Henri, um, but I'm now home and um, it's Friday morning. And I said in my, um, in the video for the boys, their open cut pour, they asked when I would be painting again or have a video up and I said today, so I'm at it, man. <laughs> I, I gotta get this done. Um, so you're gonna see this later today, which is obviously right now when it's airing and uh, we're gonna go from there. So I wanna try a, uh, maybe either a wandering straight pour or a wandering ring pour. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I am going to spray the back of my canvas. I am reusing a canvas, um, that I had originally tried painting on about a month ago and ended up scraping it. So now I'm back actually about two months ago. So now I'm going to use it up and go from there. I am going to start, I think, with a little bit of white in the bottom of my cup. And that's about it. I'm gonna come in with a wee bit of the gold. I'm not sure how this is going to pour. I'm thinking possibly the same way a normal round cup would pour, uh, but it is an oblong shape, so we'll see. Could be a complete fail, <laughs> who knows? Um, so the colors I'm using so far, I've put in their white 24K gold. I've put in some nickel azo gold, as well as Bordeaux red, and then this was the magenta. I'm gonna come in now with Violet Deep by Goldens, and I'm gonna follow that with a little bit of the gold. And then some Payne's Gray. And then let me see here. Um, I'm gonna come in with the Bordeaux red. I'm using Amsterdam's Payne's Gray. And Liquitex Basics, what is that? Uh, Quinacridone Magenta. and our Tezos Bordeaux Red, which I absolutely love. They have some wonderful colors. And uh, yeah, I can't say enough about some of their colors that they have going on. So I'm just doing little scoops of the gold, nothing too too much. I don't want the gold to per take over per se. So I'm trying to keep it at a little bit. I think that's about all I need. I put about 12 ounces in there. I'll also use my flow extender to stretch this out. And I'm really excited about this cup. So we're gonna see how this goes. So 
that is my beautifully layered cup. It looks so pretty. Now my white is two parts artist loft white with um, one one scoop of the satin enamel. And we're gonna start pouring. like fire in here. All right, so I'm gonna bring it back this way just a smidge. I don't want it to go over. This cup is amazing. I gotta show this to you. Uh, if only we could save what's in the cup also. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And just put it right there. Get some of these cups out of the way. Mina does these types of pours effortlessly. It's just so perfect. I'm gonna get one more torch. I see some air bubbles popping up here. I want to make sure I get those uh, because they will create cells once popped and stretched out. So I think I come down to this corner. Come off that back edge. Not sure if I'm crazy about this little spine area, but we'll see how it turns out once it's stretched out. this corner down here a little more because the lines are super amazing and defined
Yep. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna try another one. Um, I do have another one of these and my cat is up there. She's gonna drive me nuts. She wants attention. Um, so we're gonna bring you guys in in just a minute. And stay right there, kitty. Um, and we're gonna go from there. I don't know if you guys can see her, but here's her tail. <laughs> um, so hopefully she doesn't tip over anything. I'll be right back. So I just wanted to take a moment. Um, this is sat for about five minutes and these beautiful cells have just exploded and this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm super excited to bring you guys in. I actually ended up loving this area here, which was original, very originally very spiny looking, but I love these wisps right here, these ones. And then uh, we're gonna come over here. And coming this way is just so gorgeous. I'm so happy this came out. I'm definitely gonna be doing this again, um, probably later, so there'll be matching pieces, I hope. You know, no two pours are the same, so it should be interesting. And I love how this poured um, out of the container. It kept everything fairly tight on the traveling ring pour. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, please consider subscribing uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like what you saw leave a comment or share my video those are ways to support my channel as an artist um, and what else I don't know so we have a big surprise for you for November we will be uh, divulging some of that information soon I'm trying to keep my cat away um, and you guys have a great day much love bye